Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie Campbell from AfterBuzz. I am here at Supernatural Con with Tomo Pennicut. Hi. Yes. How are you tonight? I'm good. I'm good. I just found out how many people watch your show yeah. or download or something. Well, how do you feel about it? Well, it's 23 million people. Basically, the population of Canada tunes in. Yes. I'm incredibly nervous now. The pressure's, <laughs> the pressure's too much. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Ask well, me a simple question. Okay, well, I was going to say, are you are arguably the most significant character of this series because you indirectly caused <clears throat> Lucifer to do all of that and creation of demons and, you know, God's <clears throat> leaving and the apocalypse. How do you feel playing such a significant character in this series? Um, well, now that you've given me all that pressure again, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how I can deal with this. This is a lot of pressure here. No, I, listen, the, the way the character was written was, was great, but there was a lot of opportunity to add my own touches to it. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, they ended up writing for it, maybe not in the, the direction that they originally planned. And that's the beauty of this job, is that the actor can contribute just by his performance. And uh, I had that opportunity with this role. And, you know, three episodes turned into six, which was a great thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had a blast. And what was interesting about your character is that it was on the fence. He was on the fence with being good and bad and whose side he was taking. Did you find that challenging as an actor to play? Challenging, but at the same time, it was an opportunity for me. I mean, you know, I think another actor could have played it with a very different note. You know, every actor is going to have his own interpretation of that role. But for me, Gadriel, you know, was once uh, God's most loyal angel. So he... he and he was in prison for thousands of years, so he was he was racked with guilt, and he also had issues. He's not quite mentally stable. He hasn't been social with anybody else for thousands of years, and suddenly he's threat, thrust into a uh, a human vessel on the planet, mm -hmm. and his sole mission, the only thing that he's been thinking about for thousands of years is redemption, proving himself to God again, that it was a mistake. He didn't mean to let the serpent in. <laughs> he, he didn't want to be responsible for that. He made a mistake. So... For me, that, that made the role more colored. There was more opportunity with that because no matter what, there was a part of him, part of his conscience that knew that he was potentially doing the wrong thing when he was, when Metatron was having him kill other angels and killing, you know, different people. And he, he knew in his heart that it was bad, but he was still trying to hold on to the one thing and hope that ultimately Metatron would come through and they would do the wrong, the right thing and God would recognize that again. And would you say that it was very, um, it was a tough decision for your character to go to Metatron's side. And do you think that as an actor, you were, um, what was your favorite part as an actor to play evil or good? I mean, you had that whole redemption thing and you wanted to make up for what you were doing. You know, you didn't mean to do that, but you were still doing bad things. So as an actor, which was your favorite? Well, I think as an actor, and I think most people appreciate this in life, People are rarely completely stuck on one conviction. They're always swinging between things. You're, you're doubting yourself. You're, you're following in one direction because you think it's the right thing. Your heart's telling you that, yet there's another side of you that's doubting it, whether it is. Right. So you're questioning that. And when we can see colors of that in a performance, that's what the audience responds to because there's question, there's doubt. Right. We can relate to that. We can empathize because that's what we have in life. And I think that was you know the opportunity I saw with Gajriel. He... Um, Again, he, uh, <clears throat> he was hoping that Metatron was going to do the only thing. It was really his only opportunity, and Metatron presented in such a way. He saw this wounded character. He's, he knew that he could play a mentor role and, right. and, uh, and manipulate him did and use him as his henchman. So he did. Yes, he did. And did you have a favorite scene that you played as Gadriel? Uh, there was a lot. There was a lot. I think, um, you know, I really like Gadriel's final scene where he, you know, he finally gets that redemption. It's really, it's bittersweet. It's sad. He, mm -hmm. you know, he sacrifices himself, his own life to, um, you know, to, to <clears throat> finally get the respect of hopefully angels and, and to get his good name back and, and potentially God. And, uh, I mean, it was a great scene. The way it was written it was very emotional. I like, I like doing that raw stuff. It was good. Do you think that there would ever be any possibility <clears throat> to see your character come back, even if it's a flashback of anything? Could we see any of that? Of course. This is supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen. 
I could be back in the next episode. And I don't think anybody, well, they might be a little surprised, but the opportunity is always there. He's an angel. He sacrificed himself. I'm sure that he could come back. Hopefully it's in the same vessel. And uh, I get to play with these guys again. Is there a funny moment on set that you can remember one particular moment that stands out? Um, I mean, generally, as I've said before, these guys are cracking up all the time. They keep as heavy as the material is sometimes. These guys are cracking up all the time. They're constantly busting each other's balls. Everyone's taking a piss on set from the cameraman to the grip to the producers are coming on and joining in. They're, the, the light on set, the levity is like, it's like no other set that I've been on. These guys are always joking around. It's good. And yet it's still professional. When it comes to showtime, the, the camera's rolling. People turn it on. And they bring in great performances. And it's, it was just a pleasure. It was a pleasure to work with these guys. And a part of your past is Battlestar Galactica. And can you relate your character, Gadriel, to the character that you played on that show? Um, could I relate the two? That's an interesting question. I mean, <clears throat> in many ways, they're both, they're both virtuous mm -hmm. characters. I could, you know, Hila was very much known as the, the moral center of, uh, of Battlestar Galactica. And he, but he got that way. He had a fight for that. Mm -hmm. And um, he had a real sense of right and wrong. And I think Kadriel had the same sense, even though he made that mistake in the beginning and he was scarred by that forever. And he was always so torn and so guilt-ridden with the fact that that mistake had been made, and he was compelled, completely driven by getting redemption. Hilo, on the other hand, you know, it wasn't about him having to get recognition for somebody else. He was so hardwired to right and wrong that he did not know how to do wrong. He just could not. It was not in his DNA. Right. It went against everything that he was. Yeah. Well, what do we have next in the works for mm -hmm. you? Uh, I just finished an excellent series called Strange Empire. It's a period piece set in 1869. I had a blast doing that. I finished that a couple of weeks ago. And uh, there's one project in particular we're lo looking at right now, but I can't talk about it because it's not locked. I'm hoping it is. And uh, I recently finished um, a film uh, just this last winter, actually, called uh, uh, Painkillers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a blast doing that. I got to work with one of my idols, Colm Fjork, amazing actor, and uh, another very, very talented actor, Leslie Ann Brandt. Okay. So that was a blast. I got those things coming up, and yeah, you got to look out for them. 23 million people. Yes, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to Good. it. I'm happy that you are. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs>